Uh, this car was built in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and it's uh, built on the regular uh, Graham chassis. It's a Graham Hollywood, 1941, and they only made them really in 38, 39, and 40, but this was carried over at the end of the year till 41, so they called it a 41. But this one here is uh, quite different because um, Graham's were, um, uh, gray, uh, cord, the car cord, C-O-R-D, they went broke in 1937, and the three cord brothers, they bought, um, they bought all the molds from Cord, the Graham brothers, I mean the three Graham brothers, bought all the molds from Cord from the windshield here to the back. And, they, and so they bought all these mold, uh, all the uh, bodies things from Cord. And the, the, the roof itself is made in eight pieces. And that's how they were made, eight different sections. Yeah. And then this one here is different because it's, um, it's got, um, this is on a, a Corvette, it's got a TPI engine and it's got four-wheel Corvette disc brakes and, um, and Corvette transmission. And it's got, um, uh, this front end's different because this still has the cord hood instead of the uh, Graham Hollywood hood, which is pointed. And, and with it, but they also put the longest fenders they made, which are 1939 Cadillac front fenders. And to accommodate that, they had to um, make the front end here 15 inches longer so the fenders, so the fenders could fit in. So, so that's cord hood, Cadillac front fenders, and a Graham body. And, and those are older motorcycle headlights. And let's see what else. It's got um, the, uh, some of those windshield surrounds. They're usually steel and they rust out quite a bit, but these are stainless steel when he, uh, you can buy them now. And he had them made in stainless steel for this car. How many horsepower do you think this car produces? Uh, I don't know. Enough to make it go. <laughs> 300 maybe, yeah. And it's a light car. They don't weigh that much. And beautiful to look at, like absolutely. Yeah, yeah, they got nice, nice lines to them. And they, it was nice that they put these fenders on the front because the, the real, the, the Hollywood Graham fenders on the back, if you notice, they have a crease down them. Well, let's take a look. They have this, this crease that goes down the middle. Yep. And so the 39 Cadillac fenders have the same thing, which is nice. So it makes them, bye Bob. It's reminiscent <laughs> of the old, old cars, you know, the big salon, salon cars. Yeah, well these were, these were actually like uh, uh, movie star cars because they were, they were uh, quite uh, prominent at that time, like cords were, and only people with enough money could afford to buy them because they were a little bit more money than... And you're selling this? Yes, do you want to buy it? Uh, <laughs> I could tra take, your, take your camera on okay. trade. All right, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> How much do you think a car like this should sell for? It should sell for $63,000, which I had it at before. It's appraised at higher than that. And I'm asking, now I'm asking forty nine five. What? 49500 That's why I said you could take it with it you. Won't be long before this car is sold. No, it should go fairly soon, I hope. $9,500. Yeah. That's a great deal. Yeah, it's a nice car. I mean, it's got, it also has all remote doors and remote trunk and remote gas door and it's got um, a, a fob, a fob for the four doors uh, on the key fob to open the four doors uh, one at a time and it also has, it's got metal cable backups in case you don't have any power from the battery so it's got a, a, a cable under here to open the trunk if you need it there's a cable under the hood to open the hood and there's a cable under here to open the back door so you can get in so it has split window yes that's how they came these cars remind me the back of these cars always remind me of a german helmet yeah and um, yeah. it's a 1941 Hol graham hollywood and it and um, so anyway, it's uh, 41. They're rare, eh? Are they? Yes. And and if you look at the dash here too, the, this is this is the way the dash the dashes were made when they were new, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Suicide doors. I can okay, I can, you can hold, hold it here, yeah. or you can go through the window if you want. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah. And the. The dash is a uh, burnished steel and oh 
Oh yeah, can if if he oh, hold yeah, if you hold this, I'll open the hood. Perfect. Thank you. It's one of the most beautiful classics I've ever seen. Do you guys are you familiar with Clive Cussler? The famous author? No, no he he does collect classic cars and he's he would just steps. Oh look at that. Look at that. Now tell me about this motor. Uh, it's um, um, a TPI fuel injected engine. I think it's out of a, what's it out of, Rick? Um, uh, an IROC Z uh, is what the engine's out of. And it's all new. Everything's new in the car. It's got air conditioning. And, um, and, and I, just, I just did a, a, new, a new electric fan and radiator and new controls. But it's just, uh, it's done nice and there's polished uh, on both sides on the firewall. Absolutely. Now, if Rick holds this, I can close this. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And not the original way they designed it? No. No, this is uh, this is uh, the way the hood was built when he built the street rod, uh, because these these didn't actually come with a with a cord hood. They came with a Hollywood hood. I can show you a picture of it. Sure. Right, it's right sure. here. This is what a, a, a Graham Hollywood looks like. Okay. It's, um, it's got a more a pointed hood, and there's only about seven inches at the front here, right. whereas uh, you could see I said this was uh, lengthened here to accommodate the long Cadillac fenders. Right. So um, it's got a longer piece at the front here just to, to make the fenders fit properly. There you go. There you go. You must be very pleased when you look in the garage and you think, my goodness, this is just a beautiful car. Yeah, right. I want to thank I you for this interview. I you? sit there and have a beer and look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you do. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very okay. much, sir. I really right. appreciate it. Thanks. Now, nice this will be on... Uh, on